If I didn't have access to the internet, my life would, it would just be really boring because all I'm having on is my iPad or my iPod. If we didn't have access to the internet, life would be really boring. If I woke up and the internet was broken, I wouldn't know what to do with like myself. My life would be like really boring because I always have like my phone or my iPad and it has the internet on it too. With the growing technology that students and teenagers are using, we've had a number of issues with young people not necessarily understanding the dangers and risks um, that happen when they're using things like mobile phones and the social networking sites associated with it, such as Snapchat, BBM, Facebook, etc. Um, and when I spoke to S SLQA about it, um, they talked about the Peer Ambassador Scheme and it sounded like something fantastic to get the students involved in so that they learn about the safety and then help us to drive it forward throughout the academy. So we identified a number of young people involved within perhaps using e-devices e in an inappropriate manner um, and they all came along to the pilot and then a number of them enjoyed it and um, were given the opportunity to sign up to the Peer Ambassador Programme um, which they're hoping to do this term, the um, new accredited programme with eSafe for Suffolk, so it should be good. Um, I volunteered because I was really interested by it and like by helping other people know how to be safe and stuff. In July, the um, session was like to teach you um, how dangerous the internet was, um, you, what's coming, and you don't know if who's on the internet or what, what, who's behind the screen. I volunteered because it looks like good to other students, and it'll be good to help other students as well. Obviously they'll learn themselves about how to use these things safely, um, but hopefully they can then become ambassadors for me um, throughout the academy in teaching other young people about the dangers and what they've learnt from it, rather than it feeling like an adult and teacher dictating to them about the wrongs and rights of life. Um, I can help by talking to other students because sometimes teachers aren't as approachable and I, helping them be aware. E-safety matters to me is because um, other students can't always talk to people and they like to like talk to us because we're their friends and because we can be there to help them. Students um, feel more comfortable talking to other students more, some, more than teachers sometimes so that might help them to see. I'm doing it because I think it'll be alright to help other students with the dangers online and because it's more approachable to talk to a student than it is to another teacher. The whole vision is that we're hoping you Safer Suffolk will get involved um, so that we can educate parents and carers, educate our staff and make it part of our culture that we know at Felix Day Academy about how to be safe when using e-devices and learning technologies. Um, I think e-safety is important because you, you kind of need it because like the internet can be dangerous. E-safety matters to me because I don't want it to be dangerous to be online with like my phone using other devices. I just want it to be safe for everyone. Um, I think e-safety is important because people are always on the internet so they need to be aware of like the dangers and the things out there and people who pretend to be other people and bullying and stuff like that. I'm looking forward to being an e-safety ambassador because it like shows that we support the e-safety and we've been like something's happened to us on the internet and it's like I want to help people that are like having troubles with the internet so I've had troubles with it so like I want to help other people and I want to make sure that people are safe out there.